How do you feel that this first period in Green Jersey? Yeah, I mean, I feel fine. Uh, just trying to get comfortable with the team, trying to get my leg healthy 100% again, and just excited to uh, start the season. Uh, when uh, you will be in 100% to, to see the real uh, Matt Lodzeski? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm getting close. I feel like I'm getting closer. Um, the pain is gone now. Just trying to now get my strength back. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I don't, I'm not exactly sure. How difficult is uh, for a player to decide to, uh, to go from uh, one rival to another, from Olympiacos, Panathinaikos, and uh, the opposite? Yeah, I mean, it's not easy. Uh, you know, I spent four years on the other side. Um, in the end, I just thought it was the best thing for my family. I um, was excited to come and uh, start over here. I mean, I don't think too much about it anymore. I'm just focusing on being here and uh, trying to help the team. Uh, you came to Panathinaikos uh, because you want more titles to uh, to make the next step. What was the key factor to, to come here? No, I mean, it wasn't about titles or anything like that. Um, I mean, obviously in Greece, basically two teams are, it's down to two teams to win the championship. You know, whatever happened with Olympiacos happened, uh, not really going to talk about it. And then a few other teams that I was going to go to didn't happen. So. Uh, In the end, this ended up being the best choice, and uh, that's kind of what happened. Uh, with Olympiacos jersey, you made it two, uh, two times uh, to do the final, mm -hmm. and uh, the other side, Panathinaikos, hasn't qualified to, uh, to the final four from 2012. That, is this uh, an extra motivation for you and uh, the team uh, also to combine this? Uh... Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, you know, it's, it's been a while now for Panathinaikos to make it to the final four. Obviously, the EuroLeague is a, is a tough challenge, it's a hard season, but you know, to make the Final Four and experience this is, a, is fun for the team. It's a, something that you look forward to. So I think it's time to uh, get back to the Final Four. Uh, how do you see the new format of EuroLeague from uh, last year? Is it that, that uh, painful that uh, it seems with so many games? Yeah, I mean, definitely a lot of games. Um, I feel like with the new format, uh, It makes it easier for the better teams to make it to the playoffs, for the better teams to make it to the Final Four, um, just because there's so many games, and if you lose one game, you can make up for it. Um, I, I like the new format that uh, is different from a couple years ago when I was on Olympiacos. We had the group of death, let's say. But uh, for the athletes, it's, it's tougher because you're playing sometimes two games a week in your league, and it's... Uh, You know, it's straining on your body a little bit. Uh, what has uh, Panathinaikos, what element has Panathinaikos to have to, in order to, to go far to the EuroLeague? Yeah, I mean, okay, for, for us, uh, I think we have to protect our home court, um, win, win most of our games at home, and then, you know, win the games that we need to on the road. And uh, like last year, I mean, they had home court advantage. This is, this is key. It helps a lot to make it to the to the final four. Um, you know, still that doesn't mean you're going to make it after what happened last year here with Fenerbahce. But home court advantage, make the make the playoffs and try to get home court. Uh, but before uh, Euroleague starts, you ha you have to start the championship with a game against Olympiakos. Is that good or bad for the the, the teams to to play too early in the season? Yeah, uh, you know, when I was over there for four years. It's happened before where our first game would be against each other. Um, sometimes it's not the best game, for sure, because teams are still learning each other. Uh, maybe the quality isn't as high as it should be. But anyways, when we play each other, um, it's usually always a tough game. It's a, it's a, it's a war, and it's going to be a, a close game usually. That's what happens. But uh, for quality, I think it's better to play later on in the season against each other. But, you know, the schedule is what it is. Uh, can we talk with uh, percents? How uh, red is Panathinaikos in uh, in a percentage? Uh, I don't know. Um, uh, I don't really have a percentage. I just know um, playing against them, everybody's going to be focused. Everybody's going to be put the other things aside and uh, just be ready to play. Um, okay, it's a weird game when they don't have fans, and anytime you play with with a gym. Uh, against a big team and a rivalry where there should be a big atmosphere. It's kind of weird to play without fans, but um, 
we'll be ready and uh, focused. It's weird without fans, but uh, maybe it's uh, better for uh, your team because it's a visitor team to play without fans. I mean, it goes both ways. I mean, I think you guys uh, experience that uh, sometimes if it's going wrong in your home court, the fans can kind of get a little anxious, can, uh, let's say, make you even more nervous as a team. Uh, like if we're playing here and we're losing 10, 15 points for some reason, it adds even more pressure to the home team. But in general, it's, it's better to play with no fans in, in their court because they support the team a lot, just like here. So, uh, yeah, it's probably better with no fans. From the preparation of uh, the team, uh, which uh, elements do you think that Panathinaikos has to improve yeah. uh, ahead of the season? We definitely need to get better right now at rebounding. Um, the last couple of games, we, we didn't rebound well. Offensively, we have to score a little bit better, shoot a little bit better. Um, everybody just has to to do a little bit more. Um, but I think the main focus now is, is on rebounding. You mentioned uh, your first game in Greece uh, against Panathinaikos, an empty, an empty uh, chef. Do you want to repeat uh, such a performance? Yeah, I mean, we won the game. Uh, I played decent, you know, pretty good. Um, didn't really know what to expect being my first game and, and uh, being against Panathinaikos at that time. Now I kind of understand how it works and how big of a rivalry it is. Um, but it's kind of strange that my first game here would be in the same gym with no fans like it was when I was uh, on that team. Uh, from your cooperation with Mr. Pascual, uh, which is your impression until now? <laughs> yeah, um, I think we uh, we have good cooperation together. Um, I think he's, he's a very good uh, coach, especially with uh, drawing up plays and, and this kind of thing. Um, just looking forward to continuing to work with them and uh, see how the season goes. And uh, a question that uh, Jorgos uh, uh, wasn't asking: Do you play 2K? Uh, a little bit. I used to. Be, I used to be uh, all the time playing 2K. Huh. Now I got too many kids, and my wife is out here, so it's, it's hard to find time. To... Uh, if you had to put a rating on yourself, no idea. No idea. Um, some guys are. I know some guys are get mad about their rating, if it should be higher or lower, but for me, it doesn't matter. Something last uh, about the conflict uh, between FIBA and EuroLeague for the qualification games of the World Cup because uh, you have uh, your uh, national team, Belgium. What is your opinion about about this uh, subject? Yeah, I think it's, it's difficult uh, to really know what, what the best way would be. Um, I think to, to take a break in the season is, is difficult. Uh, and I think it's better probably to have it in the summer. But then you come up with, well, how much do you guys get to rest in the summer? Um, so to find a, a solution, the right way for the athlete where, you know, if you take a break during the year, then I think we're going to have more games closer together or we're going to miss games um, from our club team, which isn't right in my opinion either. So I don't know.